My name is Nick Vitero, and this is my self-reflection NHS video. In October of 2022, um, I completed a color run to support uh, fighting against the EOE disease, which is a disease that affects the esophagus uh, that prevents you from eating a lot of foods. Anyone could be diagnosed with this disease, uh, but unfortunately in this case, it was a six-year-old kid named Jake. This event was actually set up by Jake, it was his idea, um, and the event was a color run, so it was about a mile run around a park in Millstone. Uh, anyone did it, uh, teachers from around the area, random people, his friends did it, and people like me that didn't run stood on the like perimeter of uh, the race and threw colored powder at the runners. We threw powder at the people uh, to make it a bit more fun and exciting uh, because little kids like color. This service impacted me because although I don't know Jake, uh, it made me feel really good that I was helping spread awareness of the disease. The service also impacted me because it made me realize how many people came out uh, to come support the cause even though they did not know Jake. I've never been to an event like this, so this made me grow as a person because it made me realize there's still a lot of good people out there in the world. The service made me rethink a lot about how I am with other people and made me want to help others more, not only to help them, but also because of how good it felt too. I used to think when I would see these types of events on TV or on the news that it was just people that would come out that knew the person or loved them, um, but I was very wrong because when I was there, I saw like hundreds of people that were there that they didn't know Jake on a personal level, but they wanted to be there for him. What made me the most happy about this event though was after it was all over and everyone was covered in the powder was that I got to see Jake and saw how happy he was that all of his friends were there for him. I also had a good conversation with Harla, who was Jake's mom, um, who was actually on the news for this event, and I'll put that clip after this, but I had a conversation with her um, about the event, and she wanted to thank me for coming out, and uh, she knew how much it meant to Jake that everyone was there. Jake was first diagnosed when he was six, and today's color run 